Hello, Chaz Marler from Pair of Dice Paradise. Welcome to another installment of Questionable Board Game Science. Here's a random thought, or more accurately, a thought about randomness. When a standard deck of playing cards is shuffled, there are over 80 million thousand hundred Sex to Harva different possible combinations. It's enough to make your mind spin. So think about that the next time that someone asks you if this is your card. Now, whereas a standard deck of playing cards contains 52 cards, a typical Magic the Gathering deck contains 60 cards, increasing the number of possible combinations exponentially. But even with 20 land cards in a deck, making up roughly one-third of its cards, it still seems like I draw no land cards in my initial seven-card hand with odds-defying frequency and lose. But maybe it's just the way that I shuffle and I'm not lucky. Now, if an unbiased computer could shuffle the deck for me, I'm sure that the land distribution in my opening hand would be balanced and fair. Well, when a computerized shuffler did become available in the virtual version of Magic, Magic the Gathering Online, many users formed the exact opposite opinion. A Google search will unearth at least six pages of complaints and horror stories detailing the unfairness of Magic Online's shuffler. How could the developers of Magic Online allow such a critical component of their software, the Shuffler, to be such a beautiful disaster? Well, the answer is simple. They didn't. It was us, the users. Even with examples of hypergeometric distribution demonstrating the accurate randomization of Magic Online Shuffler, you wouldn't believe the results. Because as human creatures, we kind of stink at randomization. We have a built-in bias of what all mixed up should look like, and you'd think that that would be the end of it. But fat chance. Our brains are hardwired to find and recognize patterns, even the pattern of a complete lack of a pattern. Additionally, when people shuffle cards, we, not even on purpose, may take actions to skew the results towards what we expect random results should look like. For example, when casually shuffling a deck of cards, do you ever glance at the bottom card of the deck, and if it's a card that doesn't match your perception of what card should be there in order for the deck to be truly randomized, do you take action to move it to another location in the deck? That's not random. That's chaos. But from chaos can come understanding. And a computer has no such bias, allowing it to return results that are truly random. But do we really believe it? What steps do you take to ensure random elements in the games that you play are truly randomized? And does that approach truly result in random results? Let me know in the comments below, where, as usual, I'll respond with a randomly shuffled string of words.